I hope everybody can hear me. I'm having issues with my phone, with phone storage. You know how that goes. Uh, here my thing, man. It, it, we did not shoot down a freaking extraterrestrial craft, okay? Uh, that, that didn't happen, all right? It was probably a drone from some science institute or, or something of that, or somebody's big drone that they were playing with or something like of that nature, okay? We uh, drones are, every country out there has got drones up, okay? We got them balloons up, we got drones up, we got all kinds of satellites up, we got all kinds of stuff up there in the air, all right? So, do I think we shot down an extraterrestrial craft? No. Now, let, let, let's get on this about Ohio. Okay, right now there is an environmental disaster going on in Ohio, and it's not really being covered. It's kind of being brushed over. No one wants to really talk about it, so I'm going to talk about it. Okay, I'm going to talk about it. All right, because I haul hazmat materials, and I know if I have a small chemical spill, all hell breaks loose with all these alphabet agencies coming out. And everybody's got, got to have their little piece of the pie to make sure that all of this is cleaned up, right? Where, where, where FMCSA, where are you at? EPA, where are you at? Why are you not there finding these people? Why are you not there investigating this stuff? If you are, how come it's not being reported that you're doing so? Okay? Maybe you are doing what, maybe you are reporting it. But it, it's not getting out to anybody. I mean, there's people that live in Cleveland having have no idea that there was a chemical, a massive chemical spill not not 100 miles from them. This this chemical spill and fire that put out phosphine gas, which uh, for those of you who don't know. That's mustard gas. It's killed everything within a couple miles of the train derailment. I mean everything. It's killed everything. It's going to take years for the soil and the vegetation to recover. Much less the animals. Alright? Now, what's really scary to me, and I'm no environmentalist, okay? I'm going to say that right now. I care about the environment, but I'm no... A a environmental activist I, I, I'm not that I just do my little part okay on my little piece of property that I have I do what I can but this has poisoned the water 500 miles downstream 500 miles downstream the water is registering toxic levels of vinyl chlorine the air you can't breathe there. The air smells like chlorine. Your eyes burn. Your skin itches. It's 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 unlivable. Animals are dropping dead from the poisoned ground, the poisoned air, and the poisoned water. And it's not being reported. Fish are dying. And so what do they do? What 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 are they doing? Right? They are they are scooping up the dead fish out of the water. Like, that's going to solve the issue. That's not going to solve the issue. This needs to be taken care of. This needs to be reported more. And something needs to be done. Okay? Where are all my environmental activists at? You should be all over top of this. And I would support you 100%. Because I can tell you that nowhere in the book of the chemicals that I haul is it written to let it burn. Even a small flame is cause for concern and has to be put out with a special fire extinguisher. So... Why did they let this burn like a nuke going off in Ohio? I want you to think about that. 
And think about the fact that all these balloons up there are distraction from that and North Stream Pipeline blowing up. That's what is going on. And we need to keep our minds and our hearts focused on the light, focused on the right, and try to be hold our officials accountable and get this get to, get this straight because this is killing this is gonna it's gonna take years for this to be cleaned up. Who knows what kind of insect or animal could go extinct now because of this. We don't know. So yes, I'm upset about Ohio. I think it I think is it is a natural disaster that really really this chemical disaster really really needs to be addressed and they really really need to be on it now, not a year from now, not 5 years from now, right now before it gets into the soil and spreads. So, that's what I have for you this morning on my way to work, as you can see. And, uh, yeah. Yeah, this is an absolute disaster in Ohio. It, it, I feel so sorry for the people that got evacuated that were not allowed to take their pets. And now they're coming home to find their pets dead. That breaks my heart. It really, really does. Bicycle.